Thank you. Who will do witty banter? Paul? Yeah, Paul, do some witty banter. Go. <laughs> Tell some jokes. Tell a joke. Tell them one about the, the, the piece of string who ties himself to it into a knot and frays his edges, and then he says, I'm afraid not, at the end. Jesus Christ. <laughs> do, you, do you know that one? Yeah, I kind of know that one now. Uh, you know what? Don't tell that one, because I just ruined the punchline. <laughs> oh, I'm tuned. What, uh, tell, tell some uh, musician jokes. Oh yeah, you, you know any uh, you know any drummer jokes? No, no offense, Matt. <laughs> How can you tell the uh, if the drum riser is level? Drool is coming out of both sides of the drummer's mouth. <laughs> Everybody's looking at you because you're the drummer. <laughs> The difference between a drummer and a large pizza. What is the difference? Large pizza are pizza family of four. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. I like that one. Maybe a little too real. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes that. We love you, Matt. Even though you're a drummer. <laughs> With equally placed drool. <laughs> I'm ready. Just, you just in time as we're running out of musician jokes. <laughs> Now I want to remember. I'm trying to remember them. There are a lot of them. There was what was the? There was like an oboe. We doing viola jokes the other day. <laughs> what? How? How can you tell if your bass is in tune? No. no you told you told me. This. Oh no, this is a different. Yeah, this is this this is from uh, when I was a kid. I I got hold of a paperback book called How to Be in a Rock Band. <laughs> It was so awesome because I was like, you know, like eight years old, like, ooh, I, this is going to tell me everything. And, um, you know, it had talked about, you know, like basic stuff. It's like, here's some amplifiers and this is an electric guitar. And, uh, and then there was a chapter of, you know, tuning is, is important. Here is how you tune the guitar. Uh, here's how you change its strings and that kind of thing. And then, uh, and then it said, you know, as for the bass guitar, if you can tell that it's out of tune, it's too loud. Turn it down. <laughs> Accurate. I can't argue with that after 30 plus years. That's pretty. <laughs> All right, this is called, uh, um, well, should I explain? Oh, God. So I wrote this next song. This is an, another new song. And uh, I wrote this song when I was, I was on tour in Ireland, and it was very snowy, and I was uh, kind of depressed and tired. and. And uh, so I was, uh, to cheer myself up, was looking on Instagram at pictures of cats. Happens. And uh, there's one cat that, uh, that um, is, uh, belongs to a couple of friends of mine, and so I see very frequent pictures of this cat. This cat is named Goose. And uh, Goose is very photogenic, and I love pictures of Goose. And there was a picture of Goose looking up into the camera, her little white face looking like a snowball. And so I started to write a little song called Goose Snow Cone that uh, was kind of about being, you know, feeling lonely and homesick and that kind of thing. And I was like, I'll replace this phrase later because I don't want to have to explain it every time I play the song. And uh, it did not happen. This is Goose Snow Cone. Looking into the face of the good snow cone Should be shaking it loose, but you do it all Every little 
dark as a dress and a trim and stone. Just wanted a place, but.